Well, the BBMP finds itself in the middle of a scam as questions are being raised on the truth behind BBMP's claim of setting up a new waste management unit. The garbage issue has been plaguing the villagers on the outskirts of Bengaluru who have no option but to live in huge landfills practically in their backyard. Going by the documents of one of Palike's recent projects, it seems like unknown parties are trying to cash in on this issue. The BBMP is accused of agreeing to a contract with what seems to be a private firm for 80 crore rupees without following the proper process of bidding. News 9 has exclusive access to the document of this scam. The BBMP had agreed to establish a solid waste disposal and management unit on a 200-acre land in 2013 as per government orders. In accordance with this, tenders were called for the project in February 2013. The company in question is MSGP Infrastructure Private Limited. They allegedly agreed to set up a plant at Chigaranahalli in Dodbalapur. But what is surprising is that MSGP is the only company to have participated in the tender auction. However, according to the KMC Act, if only one company takes part in the auction, the tender should not be awarded. The company is said to have agreed to the project by seeking a loan of 80 crore rupees to establish a waste segregation unit on the 200 acres of land owned by them. But the Palike has given a proposal for just 100 acres of land and provided documents for a mere 34 acres. This has raised many questions of the credible usage of taxpayers' money. <laughs> Namade Santa Jaga, and Nam Santa Jag Deli, Nabu Ganata Janiva Nekataka Martivi, Adikanivu, import Motbekota, Tippingu, Peace Kodabe Kondelundu, Prastavana Kotara, Sarkar Inu Rekra or Jaga Idente, Mi Prastavana, Council of Mundisi, Kanonu Ritili, Yen in the Kamati Kormundisi, the Sarkar on Tip Nikalasta, Sarkar the Tip Niprakara, our Dakla Tikulali, is allowed Kudre. Moreover, the documents provided by the company have created suspicion. To begin with, there are none confirming if the so-called company holds enough land to set up the waste segregation unit since there are no record of rights, mutation or even land markings to justify they being given the tender. Sudhir and Aru, Diana and Srinale, Sudhir and Srinale, Yerudu, Muru, Dakla, Tegulila. अंदर एक पानी इला, आरटीसी इला, सर्वेस किच्ची इला, रिश्तर अगर तक अंतर काता इला, कंपनी ऐसे के रिश्तर आदमी ले कंपनी के युवाओं तो काता गिला, काता आगले लाद में ले पानी बंद इला, मिटेशन बंद इला, बाउंड्रीज किच्चा गिला, हमें ले लैंड ये ले इस तो एक रे बर्तो जन्दे ले सर्वे ने आगे ला it was found that there is no proper road leading to the place where this fabled unit is set to come up. Despite all these drawbacks, BBMP has reportedly decided to sign a memorandum of understanding with the company by availing a loan of a whopping 80 crore rupees for a period of 20 years. According to the MOU, the capital amount will increase by 10% every three years. The cherry on the cake is what a correspondent found when he tried to trace the location of this company. The office was found to be in a service apartment in Dumlur, which was closed. The people in the area have no clue about the company's existence whatsoever. Truth of the matter is, none of the Palaki officials or people's representatives have visited the land and have no idea of the location of this so-called waste management unit. The Palike seems to have violated norms and set aside 80 crore of taxpayers' money for a fictional waste management unit. What remains to be seen is if the BBMP will take time to double-check on these details before making it final. Pramod, News 9, Bengaluru. And while the leader of the opposition in Karnataka is homeless, well, that's officially a loan because the government is not allotting an official bungalow for him to take residence. Here's a report. The opposition leader of Karnataka Assembly is in a peculiar situation. 
Jagadish Shetta has been running from pillar to post to get an official residence, but the state government has not been kind to him. The opposition leader had written to the chief minister on the matter, but was not given any response. To the Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Karnataka, Vidana Sauda, Bengaluru. Sir, on 23-1-2014, I was elected as the opposition leader by the Honorable Speaker. A lot of people from my constituency and from across the state come to tell their grievances. Hence, a home office is essential. I request you to order the concerned authorities to provide official residence. Yours sincerely, Jagdish Shetta. The opposition leader is entitled for a car, an official bungalow and a gunman. Jagdish Shetta is working out of his rented residence in RMV layout. He had also sent two reminders to the chief minister on the matter, but there has been no response. The opposition leader is given perks and salaries in line with cabinet rank ministers. The leader of opposition serves on several important committees. In the case of the former Chief Minister Jagdish Shetta, he is entitled for these perks, but it has been denied. Jagdish Shetta pointed out that when Siddharamaya was the opposition leader, he was given all benefits of the title within a month, but he has been running from pillar to post in the last four months for his official residence alone. A News 9 report. And moving on, even as the Uttar Pradesh police arrested the fifth accused in the Badayu rape case, pressure seems to be mounting on the cops to act swifter. Here's a report. The shocking incident where two teen girls were gang raped and murdered has caught the nation's attention. With media and political pressure mounting, the police are acting swiftly. Earlier today, the fifth accused in the case was nabbed by the UP police. Two policemen have also been arrested for delayed action in the case. The two have also been booked for negligence of duty and will also be scrutinized and probed for their alleged role in the horrific act. The Uttar Pradesh government has also promised to set up a fast-track court to punish the culprits. Despite all this, the family is least hopeful of justice being delivered in the case. We are so poor that we don't expect justice to be done to us. Police has been pressurizing us to change our statement. Meanwhile, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi visited the village. Rahul met the family of the two Dalit sisters and even visited the site of the crime where the bodies of the two girls were found hanging. He was accompanied by AICC General Secretary and in charge of Uttar Pradesh Madhusudan Mystery, State PCC Chief Nirmal Khatri and Chairman of AICC Scheduled Caste Department K. Raju. After meeting the family, here's what Rahul Gandhi had to say. परिवारों ने कहा कंपनसेशन से हमारा कुछ नहीं होने वाला है हमारी जो बच्चियां हैं उनकी जो इज्जत है वो पैसे से वापस नहीं मिलने वाली और उन्होंने कहा है कि वो न्याय चाहते हैं उन्होंने ये भी कहा है कि उत्तर प्रदेश की पुलिस उनको न्याय नहीं दे सकती है उन्होंने कहा है कि यहां के लोग शामिल हैं सीबीआई इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए और Meanwhile, Digvijay Singh tweeted and expressed his anger over the incident. Disgusting behavior of UP police in Badao rape case. Policemen abetting this crime deserve most severe punishment along with the accused. As of now, the family is demanding for a CBI probe into the matter. Will the government call for one? Will justice be delivered in the case? That remains to be seen. A News 9 report. And while forest fires flared up once again on the holy environs of the Tirumala Hills today, sending the TTD and forest authorities into a state of tizzy. The wildfire fast eating into the Sesha Chalam forest area coupled with plumes of thick smoke is posing yet another major challenge for the firefighters. The fire was first reported from the 58th bend on the first Ghat Road. This is the third major instance of wildfires endangering the Seshacharam forest area within a span of two months. 
Living as the ill-equipped forest and TTD staff are struggling to put out the fire, the authorities blamed the oppressive summer heat as the igniting factor.